Hey everyone, this is Kevin Bass from TheDietWars.com and I'll be talking about a new randomized control trial called Cosmos. Cosmos randomized people to 500 milligrams of flavanols, that's from ch chocolate, basically a cacao bean versus placebo for 3.6 years and included 20,000 participants. It was done at Harvard. It's a landmark study in nutrition science. And uh, it, because it's so rare that such large scale rigorous trials are actually done on um, such a large number of people. So this is a totally landmark study. It was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. And it found, it found that there was a 10% reduction in all cardiovascular events, a 27% reduction in deaths from cardiovascular events. So it seems that the uh, cardiovascular events were made more mild. Not only were there fewer of them, but they were made more mild. And then um, whenever you look at the people who adhered, that's just the people who were randomized, but the people who actually adhered to the treatment so everybody who kept doing it for the entire 3.6 years, you got a 15% reduction in cardiovascular events and a 39% reduction in cardiovascular deaths. And we're going to look at that study real quick. So here you can see the, uh, the um, hazard ratios, is to say like the, how much risk is reduced. And uh, interestingly, the cardiovascular disease primary endpoint total of the cardiovascular events was not statistically significant, um, but just barely. Uh, cardiovascular deaths, however, was statistically significant for a full 27% reduction in cardiovascular deaths. Okay. If you look at, uh, these are the, the Kappa myographs to show that, uh, basically this is a cumulative incidence of, in the first case, uh, all cardiovascular events. And this in the second case, cardiovascular deaths. So you can see a divergence in cardiovascular deaths. You're reducing your risk of cardiovascular death by about, uh, you know, a full 30%, so one third. So you've got a one third less risk of dying from cardiovascular deaths. And that's just if you're randomized, it's not even if you adhered, because there's a lot of people who didn't even adhere. But if you look at only the people who adhered, and this is in, in this next, uh, and make sure that my camera's running, okay, yeah. This is in the next graph, next figure, you see very clearly that the uh, total cardiovascular events was reduced by 15%, total cardi cardiovascular disease deaths reduced by a full, 39%, 40%, so out of two out of five chance, you, your ass is going to be saved from cardiovascular disease. Um, and uh, it's just a remarkably strong and robust result. Now, is it perfect? No, because we didn't meet the primary endpoint. We barely missed the primary endpoint, and that was the pre-specified primary endpoint. But it looks pretty clear if you look at the data and take a common sense view to it that this intervention is reducing cardiovascular disease deaths. It's making cardiovascular outcomes better. And why? Well, if you look at the introduction, we're just going to read from the introduction essentially um, because it's going to be more comprehensive than what I'm going to be able to, th to throw at you. Uh, numerous short-term, small-scale dietary intervention studies have examined the cardiovascular effects of flavanols and procyanidins, which have included well-characterized cocoa and cocoa product test materials linked to cardiovascular and cardiometabolic benefits. Data have shown improvements in endothelium, dependent vasodilation, that's how much your arteries expand and like how elastic they are essentially to oversimplify just a little bit. It, they've included uh, improvements to blood pressure, inflammation, platelet activation. <clears throat> and so the idea being that uh, these are all things that are involved in cardiovascular disease risk. So what happens if you actually look at the actual outcomes of cardiovascular disease? Is it going to make these outcomes better over time? Is it going to reduce the number of cardiovascular disease events? And indeed it does. Indeed it does. Now, if you look at the, all the people who adhered, if you look at their all-cause mortality of the people who adhered, <clears throat> all-cause mortality was just barely not significant. So it, um, it's about a 20% reduction in all-cause mortality. So you have a, a, a one in five chance of being saved by taking a freaking cacao supplement. Cool. Awesome. So takeaway from this is that Cocoa supplements are awesome. You should probably be taking one. There's minimal potential of harm. Um, we still need more studies. We need to know what the effects on the brain are. I'm sure the effects of the brain are going to be positive. We need to know what the effects on all sorts of other health outcomes are to fully characterize the full extent of, of uh, how uh, beneficial this is. There were some adverse events in the study. Um, mostly it's gastrointestinal stress that's the main one. If, if, I think, in fact, that might be the only one. 
And uh, but that's that was actually because people didn't follow the study protocol. Apparently, there are ways to reduce this. I think it's like eat, eating, taking the supplement with food or something like that. There's a few other interesting things about the study. Uh, we don't need to go into the great detail about them, but uh, they're all positive. Uh, this just shows that if you want to improve your heart health, uh, eating chocolate's a great way. Now, what do I mean by eating chocolate? It's just super important. I don't mean eating milk chocolate because you're not going to get the flavanol uh, intake that you're looking for. Even dark chocolate is not. You can need about, eat about a pound of dark chocolate to replicate what you saw in the study. What you can do, however, is you can eat the cacao nibs. As I say, a handful, it's about five or six grams of cacao nibs that you need in order to replicate um, the intake of flavanols that was shown in the study. You know, so a handful of cacao nibs every day. I don't like cacao nibs, so I just take it as supplement in a pill form. That's what I would do. Uh, what what company? I guess we can make another video talking about what companies might be good for this. I didn't decide to do that for this particular video, but we can do that in the future. I think that would be a cool thing to look at. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be good for your heart. It, it's an exciting study, and uh, it's something that I'm going to be looking into for supplementation myself to improve my heart health. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment, check me out on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, at Kevin and Bass, K-E-V-I-N-N-B-A-S-S, that's two N's. Also on Patreon, same thing. If you want to help me out, you can also support me at thedietwars.com slash, that's a forward slash support dash me. That's where you can send a donation. Uh, of course, subscribe to the channel. That'd be great. Leave a review if you're on, if you're on a podcast, especially at the Apple podcast, the iTunes that would be much appreciated. It helps out the podcast, helps me get more visibility on this podcast. Uh, and if you are listening on the podcast, just note that there's also a YouTube channel. This YouTube channel actually goes through things, the videos. So you can actually look at the figures as I'm talking about them and get more information that way. Uh, and vice versa, if you're looking at the YouTube, check out my podcast at the Kevin Bass Show. It's on all major podcast directories except for Pandora. And it's about to be on Pandora as well. It should be pretty soon. It's like on like 15 different directories. Uh, cool. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, maybe in the next video we can talk about what brands might be good and exact recommendations based on this study. Now, again, uh, this study hasn't perfectly demonstrated that, uh, these, these, uh, cocoa powder or cacao nibs or, or dark, uh, a pound of dark chocolate per day is necessarily going to improve your heart health, but it's pretty strong evidence that it does. And, uh, it's strong enough for me to say that this is a, this is good enough to, to think about supplementing with. And I think most people who look at this study, most scientists would probably agree with that. Um, so yeah, uh, this is awesome. Eat chocolate for your health, not milk chocolate. Focus probably more on dark chocolate and probably focus more on cacao nibs and supplements. And we'll talk about that in a future video, I suppose. Thanks for watching the video and uh, see you guys next time.